Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about the Ipsy bag. And technically I already did this video, but I wanted to re-record it. Also, if you guys haven't checked it out, you can click a link over here. Um, this is the Jenny wig. I know it looks a little bit different than what it normally looks like, but after about two months of wearing this wig, it was starting to look a little crazy. So I actually flat ironed it, and now it almost looks like a completely different wig. But if you guys want to see how it looked before that, click the link over here. Okay, so for the year of 2017, I have about six months left of my Ipsy subscription and I'm still trying to decide if Ipsy is worth it, especially for women of color. Um, so this is my January Ipsy bag. I like it. It's perforated. It's uh, gray. I like that. I really like I, the, the number one thing I can say about Ipsy bags is that these make such cute purse bags, like cute little makeup bags, cute little pad bags, like what you know, whatever you want. These are such cute little additions to my collection. The first thing that I want to talk about is the Seat, it's the Seat uh, top coat that I got. It comes in this box. Um, I've seen Seat, but I've never spent the money on Seat because Seat is a little expensive. But I must say, I really enjoy the packaging on this. I wish it would focus. Focus. Okay, but it's not focusing, but I enjoy the packaging. I like the curve. I love everything about this packaging. I'm actually still on a no nail polish thing just because, um, if you don't know, your nails do need a break from nail polish. So I'm still on that. So because of that, I haven't used the top coat, but I am looking forward to using the top coat. Next is this Beauty Basics, um, brush I think it's a synthetic brush I think it could be used for blush it is angled that is a good thing I haven't used it yet because I'm still obsessed with my blush brush from um, the other blush brush that I got from Ipsy see that's the thing this is the second blush contour esque brush that I've gotten from Ipsy see this one is from crown brush and then this one is from Beauty Basic they're pretty much the exact same brush so I'm, I'm not liking that ipsy like I don't mind getting brushes like I got the Luxie 524T the travel size this was fine I even went out and bought the eyes the eye brushes from Luxie but I pretty much got the same brush again next I want to talk about a pigment and it is from Star Crushed Minerals it looks like this can I focus it probably won't uh, it looks like that. I wish you guys could see it better, but um, I don't mind the pigment. I like the pigments. I'm going to try to show you guys what color it is. Because to me, it's almost like a, like a soft pink highlight type thing. Oops. Yeah, see, that's the color. It's really subtle. Um, I feel like it would look better like on my hand, but I don't want to open it. That's the thing. So I'm trying to keep it closed until I actually want to use it. But it is my type of color in terms of golds and like rose golds. Um, the color is um, Age to Perfection Champagne. So yeah, that's probably why I like it. It also says that it's a metallic eyeshadow, vegan and cruelty free. So that's also a plus. I've actually never heard of Star Crush Minerals. So for this, thanks Ipsy, because I would have never heard about these guys. The next thing that I got is a skincare product. And I can definitely say most of the skincare products that I've gotten from Ipsy have been fantastic. I got the H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream. And it comes like this and um, it's proven, clinically proven to double skin moisture um, I don't really need moisture in my skin that much because I am oily um, I already have cleansers but it's a blue cleanser or I'm sorry it's a blue moisturizer and it has a slight it has a scent to it it smells like I don't know it actually has more it smells more of a fragrance type smell I'm a little hesitant on moisturizers and creams that have like a fragrance like um, like the ones that came from Bath and Body Works rather than like a like a clean smell just because my skin is really sensitive and I break out in hives on like the simplest things the last thing that I got is from trust fund beauty and it's the color blame game and it's the lip gasm lip gloss now I don't mind this 
But this is the problem that I have with Ipsy when it comes to like lipstick colors and stuff. I've gotten this color twice already. I got the full size version in one of my other Ipsy bags and now I have this color. The only difference was full size versus the small one. I'm not saying the color is bad, but I kind of feel like they should know to stop sending me the same color over and over. Um, I don't mind Trust Fun Beauty. I just feel like if this is the only color that they have to offer, then I don't mind not getting it. Okay guys, so that was it for the January Ipsy bag. Um, like you guys saw, I did get what I'm going to consider two duplicates out of the five. So I'm giving it three stars instead of five this time. Um, I still haven't decided if Ipsy is like worth it in the overall general sense, but I can say that I've been introduced to some products that have become like my go-to products. And I'm thinking I might do a video of like my go-to products thanks to Ipsy. Let me guys, let, please let me know what you guys think about that. Um, again, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. And until the next time, guys, bye.